Hey everybody, welcome back to another episode of California Fishing Life. Today we are doing something a little different. We're going to talk about the five things you should know before you go tuna fishing. Before we do begin, if you are new here and if this video helped you out, please go ahead and subscribe and hit that notification bell because we are trying to change the publishing schedule here because we are aware that Sunday scaries are a real thing and we also uh, want to bring you right next to the action and talk to you guys about the play-by-play, -play, about what's going on, and a lot of exciting things like that. So without further ado, here are the five things that you should know before you go tuna fishing. So number one, having a positive attitude is crucial, if not paramount, to tuna fishing. As with anything in life, having a positive attitude will behoove you, especially when going tuna fishing, because when you have a positive attitude, you will pick baits better. When you pick better baits, they will swim faster, they will swim deeper, and you'll be able to get bitten more, and the more you get bitten, the chances of you landing a fish are increased. Yeah. So everything is interdependent, right? and fishing is no different. Have a positive attitude. Number two, tuna fishing is fishing. It is not tuna catching. So tuna fishing is one of two things. It's either an extremely long boat ride. In that case, enjoy the scenery. You're out in the water. It's a beautiful day. If the seas are rough, it'll end, right? So when you're catching fish, it is pandemonium. It is chaos, whatever you want to call it. It's fast paced and your arms will be sore. Sometimes you can throw a bear hook in there and catch stuff. There is no in-between. There is no, oh, it was an okay day of tuna fishing. It was either a frenzy or it was a long boat ride. So be aware of that. And number three, be aware of your surroundings because there is there are flying hooks, there are jigs, there are baits flying in the air, and the last thing you want is an unexpected piercing. And that is crucial. Look around you because you don't want anything being stuck to you. And number four, where the, ooh. Oh, find a fresh one. Moment of silence for that tuna. Number four, wear the proper attire. So if you saw in my first tuna video, the tuna are frenzying and the bites never stopped. I wore running shoes in that video. That was the last time I ever wore those running shoes because it smelled like fish blood and guts for months and I washed it about 15 to 20 times thoroughly and let it dry. That smell would not come out. So spend a little bit of money and invest in some good fishing boots and also layer up because you'll be outside on a boat. There's going to be wind chill and you don't want to be cold because when you're cold, you're gonna be miserable and it's not gonna provide the best positive mental attitude there. And number five, before I do release number five, I just wanted to say thank you for watching all of these videos and supporting me uh, with all of your comments. Um, even some of the troll comments are really hilarious. Ooh. So if this video gets 20 likes i will come out with a part two of five things that i wish i knew when it came to tuna fishing and if this video gets 50 likes i will go in I'm depth really for number five so number five bring the right tools hooks jigs flat falls even those lead weights with the treble hook in the back or those two hooks i don't want to mention any names just because legality reasons and I don't want to get sued by these companies and things like that, but they are known to tuna fishermen as a certain name. But bring those oh, jigs, bring man. the floral carbon, right? Uh, floral carbon is special fishing line that is invisible once it hits the water. Bigger game fish will, will see monofilament line, so Doesn't regular like fishing line or you don't want to just throw straight braid in there because that, that wouldn't work out too well. So bring the right tools, okay? So just to recap, oh. 
the five things that I wish I knew before I went tuna fishing. Number one, have a positive attitude. Number two, tuna fishing is fishing. It's not catching. Number three, be aware of your surroundings. Number four, wear proper attire. And number five, bring the right tools. And I hope you enjoyed watching this video. And if it's your first time uh, going tuna fishing, I hope you catch a lot of fish. Oh, and comment down right. below where you're going to be fishing, uh, what yes, kind sir. of fish you're trying to catch. And I hope you enjoy this baby tuna that I caught. This was the only one that I, I caught for the you. day. And until I see you all again, stay bent.